Okay, we're at the boat. Let's do our installation. Sometimes it's gonna help if you have a second guy there with you to help you out. Definitely gonna make life easier. You got this, Nick? Right now, I'm just using a Phillips bit gun. You can use whatever screws, whatever fasteners that you guys like to fasten your membranes. Right now, we are just using stainless steel screws. These are the pre-filters, so the water runs through these before it gets to this. Okay, our pre-filters are mounted. Now we're onto high pressure hoses. We're gonna mount these from the motor and pump to our membranes using a 11 16 wrench. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of our red caps off our fittings. Okay, now we're going to install our high pressure hose. In this case, we have two six foot pressure hoses. The first one is gonna go from the motor and pump. Then we have a one foot loop hose. The loop hose is the high pressure hose that connects both of your membranes together. And once again, we wanna be aware of our water flow, which is indicated on the sticker of each membrane. And with our 11 16 wrench, we wanna give this a nice tighten down with all of our fittings. And last, you have your high pressure hose from your last fitting. And this hose will go to your pressure regulator on your panel. And if you don't have a panel, the pressure regulator will be mounted right to the end of the membrane. Okay, and now our high pressure hoses are ready to go for the next step. Now we are on to our low pressure hoses. We're gonna run these hoses. We're gonna have to do some cutting. So if you have a pair of dikes or side cutters or a cutter like this, any of those will work. This right here is your product water, fresh water line. And this is, we're gonna make a loop from this fitting to this fitting through the center of the membranes to connect those kind of like your loop hose here. So we're gonna cut a section of him off. Now you wanna make sure that you leave around a foot, maybe a little bit longer. It's, you can't have too much hose here, but you wanna make sure that you make the run that you have. Now next, we have a quarter inch line, and this is for your low pressure gauge that is gonna to run to your panel. And this goes from here. I'm gonna set him up. And that's gonna go to our panel. Leave him ready. We're gonna take our fresh water line. And we're gonna run it from the out. And this is the last out of your membranes and this is what's gonna go to your panel. So we're gonna set this guy up here. And then we have our half inch hose. And this is gonna run from the pump to your inlet here on your pre-filters. Connect this guy together here. into the pump and now water is able to be fed. On our panel we have a flow meter 
this indicates how many gallons an hour you're making. This is your TDS monitor, which shows the particles per million. This is your pressure regulator, specially patented by Seawater Pro water makers. Our high pressure gauge, which is the pressure within your membranes, and then the low pressure gauge of your boost pump. Off the back of your panel, you'll notice this. This is a brine hose. This hose is a discharge of salt water. You want to run this overboard. This is the high pressure fitting. We'll get to that. This is the gauge and this is your flow meter. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our fresh water that we made and we're going to go into the bottom of our flow meter. So the hose that is coming from the membrane is going directly into the bottom of this flow meter. And then from the flow meter, you're going to come out from the top of the flow meter and we are going to go into this TDS monitor. So you can cut your product line, run it into your TDS, and then back out of the TDS. And then from here on, this is fresh water that goes to your tank. Okay, so we have this quarter inch blue line that we had set up previously from the pre-filters. And this is going to your low pressure gauge. I'm gonna cut this, I'm gonna install him. Now this panel can be installed anywhere on your boat. You could have it down in the engine room, you can have it a foot away, or you could have it 20 feet away, it doesn't matter. Okay, now this is all hooked up. These are your breakers. These you wire yourself into your boat. Two panels. Okay. This high pressure line, you wanna make sure is tight. And that's tight. All right, Nick, let's mount. Okay, we have our boost pump. We wanna take some Teflon. Let's give this guy a wrap at least about five times. Any Teflon will do. Now, one of the most important things to our setup is that the boost pump is connected as close to the strainer as possible. The boost pump cannot have any line run between the strainer and the pump itself, but anything after the boost pump, you could run as much line as, as you need. On the boost pump itself, it has an in and it has an out. So we're gonna put our in to our strainer. Okay, so we just installed our boost pump. Now we want to install our plastic half inch push to connect fitting on the out of our boost pump. This is gonna go to the in of our pre-filters. You wanna be very cautious not to over tighten these fittings. They are plastic and plastic will break. Now. However you configure your setup is completely up to you guys. It will work either way. Up, you could have it down, even your membranes. You could have them horizontally or you could run them vertically. The only things that need to stay in their upright position are the pre-filters and the pump and motor. That's it. Everything else you can configure however you like. So we just installed our boost pump. Now we're gonna connect our boost pump to the system. We are going to use our half inch hose. We're gonna put it into there. Now all of this hose is provided to you with the kit. So all the hose comes standard 20 foot for the low pressure and six feet for the high pressure. If you guys need longer hose, you can request that on our website at seawaterpro.com including fittings, extra parts, anything that you need can be found on our website. So now we're going to connect this. <clears throat> That's connected in right here. These are two one-way valves. So water can come in and it can only go this way. It can't go back. This is for flushing. So water, once you have your flush set up, this is your dock water, or you could even come from your tanks with the fresh water that you've already made to flush your system but your boost pump is gonna run through here and start filling up these filters. This is your gauge that you already installed for your boost pump pressure here. And the only thing left you have is a potentiometer 
on the end of this. This potentiometer is what increases and decreases the PSI in this boost pump. So the ideal setup is around 15 PSI and you need to set this potentiometer when the boost pump is running and when the high pressure pump is running. That is the best way to set your boost pump PSI. And this is just 12 volt. We sell transformers once again on our website at seawaterpro.com. Or you can just wire it 12 volt into the boat just as it is. All right, so we've installed our Seawater Pro system and a flick of two switches will be making fresh water. Make sure you guys check us out on Facebook, Instagram, seawaterpro.com for all your parts and needs. We're here for you guys. Thank you. Once again, I'm Mike and I'll see you guys next time.